Hi folks, Rich Pacini from RJPacini.com. I'm doing a demo video today on the HP PhotoSmart A610. And I just want to go over very brief just to show you that it works. Um, I just want to, I usually like to point out the uh, condition of the item itself. Um, it's pretty, it's overall condition is clean, as you can see. It does have minor scuff marks along here. You can't pick it up in a webcam, but it does, it does have a minor floors over here. Okay, and even like a little scratch mark. Okay, the overall body is pretty good. Like I said, it does have some scratch, a little scuff marks on the sides. But the webcam always shows you it nice and shiny. But that does not interfere with the its printing capabilities, though. Just to so you know that um, it does. Like I said, it does have minor wear on it. It has a metal handle to carry it. Okay, all right, you can see. Overall, it's clean. Outside the scuff marks on there, the unit's pretty clean. Um, <clears throat> the that's the top of it there. Okay, that's the bottom. It is a clean unit, though. It is pretty clean considering. Um, and what I want to do is, I just basically want to do a live demo on it. I'm going to um, take my digital camera over here, and I'm going to snap a couple pictures. And I'm going to show you, I'm going to insert the memory stick in the uh, printer itself to show you it does power up. You know, it, uh, it will upload to the computer. Um, just to give you a little oversight on this here, there is no user manual or original packaging with this printer. Um, it does come with the AC power adapter and the USB printer cable. Um, you can, however, download the user manual off the HP website. You just type in the HP PhotoSmart A610, and you type in user manual, and um, you'll be able to, it's, it'll come as a PDF file. I would print it out, but I think it's like 116 pages. I believe it's for this one. I'm not sure, but I know it, was, it had a high page count. But if you need, you know, if you like, like me, I like reference manuals. I like user guides, stuff like that, and I'd like to have them. Um, I would. I probably wouldn't print out 116 pages. I would probably check on eBay, see if I can get the user manual, or check with HP and see if they still have any of these manuals uh, that they that's available maybe you could purchase it from them but you can if you did need to look up information about this here its operating systems um, you can definitely go to the website and uh, if you type in again like you do a Google search on HP PhotoSmart A610 you will be able to uh, see that they do have um, the manual that, that can be downloaded onto your computer <clears throat> and you might want to keep it there for future reference uh, whether you use the manual or not um, I think it's pretty much, I don't have a manual with this here. Um, it's pretty much, you know, very basic and simple to use. Um, I was able to navigate through it and I had no problem with it. Um, it's going to need an ink cartridge. The ink cartridge that comes with it, I'm going to open this up here. All right, and you'll see everything will pop open as you can see normally, like it normal would. The screen comes up. The cartridge in here, so I'm going to close the back for a second. The cartridge that you're going to need, it's dried out. You know, uh, I did a test on it and it came out very, very the page came out very faded. This is the cartridge you're going to need to pick up, folks, by the way. It's the HP 110. Now, eBay sells them for all different prices. I see them for eight, six, ten dollars You could buy dupe, you, know, you could buy dual, like you buy two at a time for like $13. I, I'm not sure. I thought they said the page count on this is in the high, like 50s. I think you can get like 50 photos or whatever with this cartridge. It's a tricolor. Um, it, it's all tricolor in there. Okay, it's one cartridge that goes into the system. All right, but this cartridge is going to come with the unit. I'm going to leave it, even though you might say, well, why would you leave a dried ink cartridge in there, whatever. Uh, this way you know what, what brand to get, you know, and you'll have the number on it too. Okay, so I'm going to leave, I'm going to put that back in the printer. Okay, all right, put that back in there. Um, I just want to show you the page it did print. I was able to print. I did a test page of it. As you can see, it's very faded. It's very faded, folks. It looks darker on the computer, on the, on the screen, but it's, it's faded. You're going to need a new cartridge, no doubt about it. Okay, I, I'm going to give you this paper with it as well, just to show you that it did print. Um, <clears throat> okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to... I'm just going to close it one more time. I'm going to power. I'm going to power it up. I'm going to uh, get the adapter here. Power port. Here we go. 
And right now the USB is connected to my, my personal PC. Okay, so I can't show you that, but you are going to get this USB gold plated, whatever, uh, USB cord for the printer. And that goes over here. All right. Now you notice the light went on already. Okay. And it looks like it already powered up. I don't know why it's powering up so quick, but I didn't hit the power button on there. I think it, I think it resets. I think it'll go off. I think when you first turn it on, you plug it in. I think it does that because I don't. I didn't hit the power button just now. Oh, I guess again. Let me just try it again. I want to see something. Okay. So it's showing you right now, it's shutting down. All right, ready to shut down. Okay. Let's try it again. I like to do live demos, folks, to show the potential buyers what they're getting beforehand. This way you know that the item works and you don't have to second guess it. You know, when it gets to your, your dwelling, you don't have to sit there thinking, you know, boy, I hope this printer works. Uh, that's why I do the live demos and I do them verbatim on a lot of uh, electronics. Okay. But anyway, let me power it up. As you can see, it powered up there. All right. You get the uh, eight, welcome screen, I guess, photo, exp uh, photo shoot, photo smart express. Okay. All right. You can see all the lights went on now. Okay. I wish I could print it out, print the page out for you and stuff like that, but I can't do it because I don't have printer paper and I don't have a toner cartridge. Okay, so when you do that there, this pops out, of course, and you got your little uh, thing here to hold the printer uh, photo paper. Okay. All right, so we'll close that down. We don't need to have that open. At least you know that it works, that part. And um, I'm going to snap a couple pictures with my camera, and I'm going to plug it in here. And I'm trying to do a split screen type of thing here, go back and forth. So if I lose you in a transition, I'll I'll get back to you again. But let me take a couple pictures right now. I got my Sony digital camera here. And uh, I'm going to plug the memory stick in there and show you that it does link up with my computer. So let's just do this really quick here. Okay, I got one picture there. And I'm going to take one more. Okay. All right, so now we got two pictures. Okay, let me power this off. And I'm using Corel uh, Photo Print. So hopefully, um, I was trying before, but I kind of got like bumped off on the uh, system here because I don't know, but I was having a little problem with my computer. I had, I think, too many windows open, and uh, I think that was the problem too. Kind of like stressing out the uh, processor. So let me just move this down here. Okay, now as you can see here on the screen, it says no photos in the folder. Uh, the other moon shots I took, I was playing around with my camera. All right, I'm going to plug this into the uh, camera, I mean, to the uh, printer. That's why I like to do this live, folks. I'm going to put it in here in the memory slot. Well, I'll, well, you can't see it there. All right. But, okay, let so I can get in there. Okay. Okay. Now, it should interact with this program. Let's see here. It's, right now, it's reading it. Okay. Now let's see what we got here. Now I have to move this back. I think I jumped to another window. Let's see what I got over here. All right, we'll we'll do it this way here. Say so start the download. Let's see. Boy, I tell you, this either my computer's slow or reading this thing is slow. <laughs> what are we doing here? Okay, I'm sorry, folks, about this here. Uh, I, I like to do, like I said, I like to do these demo videos to show you that the item does work. It looks like there's another program running behind it. I see something's going on here. And it's still reading back here. I don't know why. It looks like it's showing up over here on this one. Now, I have Sony Play Memories uh, thing here. Uh, I don't know why it jumped on that one. I really didn't want to go on this screen. But let's see if it's got it here. Whoops, I got bumped out, guys. I'm sorry. Let me move back over here again. Yeah, I don't I didn't I didn't really want this one to come up. I wanted the Corel. And it seems like it's still reading here. That's interesting. Every time I you know folks, every time I try to do a live demo, I notice I always get something crazy happening with my computer. And uh, you know, if I wasn't doing a live demo. This wouldn't happen right now? Okay, there we go. All right. I guess it's taking a little time. Okay, here, see it, folks? Now, it's downloading from this, the, the printer, the PhotoSmart printer, just to let you know. I'm sorry, my system's slow. And All right. It says show these photos on the phone. Okay, anyway, let me just show you. This is this is uh, came off my camera, and uh, that's how it looks. Okay, folks? 
that is that is that was a live video a uh, live shot launched in you know, a live uh, digital shot there and uh here's the other picture remember i told you it took two that's the other one okay folks so as you can see and i'm using a windows operating system windows 10 okay i don't have any software driver but it does pick up on a computer the computer does pick it up it did detect it okay so if you get it and you are using the, the newest system the uh windows 10 don't be alarmed it will work um if you don't have like i don't want to hold this my hand i'm afraid to drop it then it'll be no use to anybody um if you know if you have if you don't have like corel or um sony play state of oh, Sony play state, sony play memories uh i think that's i think that that's free well the corel one i have that's software i have but uh if i'm not mistaken windows does come with a, a photo uh, program so it'll auto it, mindset to pick up you know this these uh applications will pick up when it, uh, a memory stick is plugged into it these two pop up but if you don't have this type of uh, program um what will happen is uh windows will have theirs they have a photo uh program so you don't have to worry about it you'll be able to view your photos but um that's basically it but as far as the user manual i know they have it if you go to hp.com or you do a search do a google search you're probably better off because you'll be bouncing around a lot and just type in google uh in the google uh, search set engine just type in there hp photo smart a610 uh user manual and it will come up and you might see ones that say pdf download or whatever but try to get it from the hp website okay and if you do the download the pdf you'll see the whole manual uh, appear there and you could if you know if you don't say well i don't need a manual but let's say you want to use it for reference you'll have it you know what i'm saying it doesn't hurt to have it folks but um as far as the driver software as you can see this works i mean i mean i have the printer right here okay it still has the memory stick in it and uh you know you could do your editing on here of course as well and not only that, if you don't want to do any editing on here, on the on the printer itself, you can go in here and do your editing. Uh, you could add the text. You could do it. You could turn it black and white. You could do it this color here, the sapphire, whatever. You could put edges on it. You could put a frame on it. You know, I'm doing this stuff right now. I mean, you know, and it lets you put the frame. Look, you can make a nice little thing like that uh, if you want to do that type of thing. If you wanted to go back to the uh, color it was already you know um i guess you could go back to quick fix whatever i don't know but you could do a lot of different things with this here you know and uh that's what i like about with the corel you could do a lot of different things too but um and you could add text to it if you want to add text uh you could crop it you know or you could undo it if you don't like it you could just do undo to do what you just did but you don't have like i'm saying you don't have if you can't you know you don't have too many applications on here to do you know different things you could do it in the pro within the program. Like I said, I'm using Corel. This is the Corel Photo Album 6. So I'm doing here, and my system's very slow, so we'll be here all day waiting for it. But I just want to give you a little insight. But anyway, folks, if you like my um, if you like my channel, if you'd like to subscribe, so I'd love to have you as a subscriber. Uh, please do. And the other thing is, um, if you like what I do with these videos, you like these demos and intro videos. Uh, please give it a thumbs up. I hope this information helps out in any way. Um, that's basically what I want to cover, guys. Um, I hope this works for you. And uh, take care and thanks again. And have a great day now. Bye.